Hi there, Fernando Ribeiro here. So today I'm showing the process of content creation. In this case, I'm uh, showing the process in ZBrush, but the same could be applied on Blender or uh, 3D Code, any 3D sculpting tool. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is cleaning the mesh. I, I'm starting this head sculpting based on the standard mesh I've been using on the projects. So right now I'm basically cleaning the, the shape to start with something more neutral. And you might also notice I'm following the standard of uh, having the base mesh with the eyes closed and the mouth opened. This reduces texture distortion uh, based on UV mapping. And also uh, we get better results when animating uh, both eyes and mouth if the base mesh already consider this uh, basic deformation. So one important uh, thing to consider when sculpting the tail for the for Yuma is that the final result, the what will be provided is basically the textures, so the normal map and the other textures. So what's really important here is the fine detail and uh, medium level detail. The higher level, uh, I mean the bigger volume areas, uh, we really don't or shouldn't consider defining those uh, on the sculpting process because this, this kind of volume will be defined by the sliders themselves. This may be a little tricky because we are usually not working this way. Uh, we are defining all the shape, all the all the stuff inside the ZBrush. But we need to keep in mind that for Yuma projects, here we are providing the textures that might be used for many different avatars. Avatars with completely different shapes. So we, at the same time, it's really important to have a unique texture, something special. Uh, this solution, uh, what, what we provide should be flexible enough to handle different avatars. It's also important to avoid using the move tool. Uh, you see, when we are moving the mesh, uh, topology is also following this uh, change. So, in many cases, when we are doing this, we are um, basically not having any extra contribution for the final normal map. The base meshes we are providing are also uh, UV mapped, so it's possible to generate the final textures directly in ZBrush or your preferred tool. In this case you need to be aware that uh, the entire mesh here is covering in fact four different textures, eyes, uh, inner mouth, the head and the body. So for the ZBrush file you can take advantage of the polygroups to generate the texture uh, with only the necessary polygroups uh, being activated. For the rest of this video, I will keep the sculpting process and uh, in the next one, I will show the integration with Unity and the Yuma project itself.